Today what I want to show you is how to hook up the pressure relief valve on the TII Technical Institute Explorer 1 hydraulic training system. A lot of my students have a hard time understanding how a pressure relief valve works basically because they've never seen one in real life. So what we have here is our pump pressure coming to our pump ma our pressure manifold. From our pressure manifold, I'm going to run one wire, one hose from here into one of the number one connections on the pressure relief valve. Now, the problem that a lot of my students have is once they get to this point, they don't know which one is going to go to tank and, which, and, and then what the extra one is. Most pressure relief valves have what can be thought of as a T inside of them. So oil will come into here and then T off. The run from here, it's going to go through the biasing spring, or it's going to overcome the biasing spring and go to the return manifold. This right here is just the basic T that can run off into the system to accomplish whatever needs to be accomplished. So, from here what I want to do is I want to run a hose from the number two which is stamped onto the side. Now it's hard to see on these, but they are here back to the return manifold, which is going to return all of the oil back to tank. Now, from here, I can actually turn the system on and adjust my system's pressure to whatever I want. Now, or I can run from here into my system, into my directional control valves, or whatever function I'm trying to do. I could run, I could actually have the same pressure come from the pressure manifold as well because of Pascal's law, pressure being equal in all directions. So from here what I want to do is I'm going to run a hose from the relief valves, the other number one, up to one of the inline pressure gauges. Now, in the way this is set up right here, the system's pressure and the inline pressure gauge will absolutely be the same. So I'm going to turn this on. It's going to get loud here. Now, you notice that the system, the basic system's pressure on here should be at about 800. All right, that's about as high as the pressure will go. This one actually will get up to about 820 PSI. Now, when I start to adjust this down, I know it's kind of hard to see in the video, but pressure will actually start to go down. Here, you can see that needle start to start to move here a little bit. It'll go down. So right now what I have is about 400 PSI here, 400 PSI here. So what you'll notice is, the pressure line from the pressure manifold is going to run into the left side number one here at the bottom. Okay, the number one is going to be stamped on the side here. The number two hose, the one at the top, always has to return to the return manifold. It always has to send that oil back to tank. The number one on the right hand side should supply pressure and flow to whatever is actually accomplishing work. So in this time we're just running it to an inline pressure gauge. But from here what you can also do is run it to whatever directional control valves you're going to be running in the system that will supply pressure to your actuators.